Well, good evening and welcome to Get Real with Rick Dancer, sponsored tonight by Any Lab Test Now Eugene. And we are down in the heart of the wit, just down near Ninkasi at the newest hotspot in Eugene. It's called Shield Bistro and Catering Kitchen. They totally remodeled. This used to be Vanilla Jill's and um, a number of other things. And they've got outside seating. So they got the restaurant out here and then this super cool little bar on the inside. And we're just right in the heart of the Whitaker. Um, I want you to see wheelchair accessible. And you're gonna know the owner and who she is because she's a very familiar face in the world of restaurants and catering. So there she, I know she has, what? You're going, she has another restaurant? What, does it, she doesn't have enough to do? So you guys check this out. So this is the new Shield Bistro and Catering Kitchen. And when we're not in COVID, there will obviously be a table under each lamp. That's kind of the whole idea. But right now we've got, it's full bar, right? Full bar, we have this beautiful copper top and um, eventually we'll have lovely bar stools, but we don't have them right now. Full bar, um, this week we're just running uh, our house cocktails and like basic drinks, but by next week we will have a full bar completely built out. Um, we're so excited about when it. When did you guys open? We opened three weeks ago. Wow. Yeah, so we've been doing, because of COVID, we wanted to make sure we were opening right. So we've done a very soft opening. We're just about to schedule our grand opening. We're very excited about it. Stay tuned, like our page. Ooh, actually. Okay, hold on, let me let me do something here. Yes, yes, yes. Let me turn this around so they can see ya. Since I'm getting so, excited. Yeah, she's getting excited. <laughs> so, so Natalie, what kind of food do you guys serve here? Um, we serve Spanish tapas and supper club style dinners on Fridays and Saturdays. And we also do the craft cocktails, of course. So, but primarily Spanish tapas. We have, it's small plates. They're uh, beautiful flavors, lots of citrus, lots of, um, lots of tomato and, and some smoky spice. It's really lovely. So when, when you, uh, reservations are very much suggested. We suggest, recommend, we, we do very highly recommend reservations. We only have, um, I think, a total of 15 tables throughout the entire campus right now. So um, we fill up really quickly, especially Friday, Saturday night. Um, and we do also have a really wonderful happy hour that does not require ha reservations. Um, but that, that's, we have a wonderful happy hour where we do $2 off our entire tapas menu and also uh, $5 glasses of beer and house wine. So why another place? <laughs> so Natalie owns the pig and turnip. They also have a pretzel business and great bakery and, um, and a catering business. So you just didn't have enough to do? <laughs> well, that's not exactly it. It's uh, our, you know, pig and turnip is doing so well. And uh, I mean, aside from COVID stuff, but in general, uh, Pig and Turnip, that was my passion project five years ago. And I'm five years into that, feeling like we have, we have a great team under us. We're, we're making sure that we have everything organized over there. And I wanted to do something a little higher um, upscale. And it's been something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I, I couldn't be more thrilled with how our space has turned out. The space that we're um, offering to the public now here is, it's the kind of food I want to eat every day, and you know, if I could eat fine dining every day. <laughs> so let's show let's show people around. I'm gonna turn this camera around. So you guys, they put in all new windows here. And in fact, if you want to know the truth, this whole wall dun, 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 is new. So you have done major renovations. Major, major renovations. Let's walk this way. We did the bar. Um, we, put in, we put in a brand new bathroom here. Hold on one second. <laughs> they, they are moving. So, you guys, this is what I love because I have a brother-in-law who is in a wheelchair. They have a, go ahead and open that door, Natalie. Look at this, fully accessible lavatory for people in wheelchairs. That is so awesome. Oh, wait, 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 here, okay. Don't go any farther. Oh, yes. Look at, oh my God, tell me what we have here. So right here, here we have our crispy cauliflower with hazelnut sage piccata, our um, manchego cheese served with our house Spanish rustic bread, which is made by Joe at Pretzel Joe's, my husband. Um, and then we also have our octopus and potatoes with a roasted red pepper aioli. Oh, 
God, that looks good. And they smell, are, I wish yeah, I could yeah. smell for you people, but it smells really, really good. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this cauliflower is to die for. We have a lot of vegan um, items on our menu, vegan and vegetarian. We did a lot of that. We also have several pescatarian things. So A lot of gluten, gluten-free, too, because you are. Exactly. Everything that goes into our fryer is gluten-free. So um, everything really except for the bread is gluten-free. And ch- thank you. Not just here, but in general. So check out the kitchen, too, because this is, everything is new, isn't it? This yeah. is like, hello, my friend. Hello. This is our, this is our lead line cook, Josh. Um, he's actually our head prep cook, Josh. He's not supposed to be line cooking, but we're, we're working on getting more line cooks in here. So, so <laughs> if you're, if you're looking for a line cook job, come down here. If you here. want to be a line cook at a great place, here's where you go. <laughs> we're doing advertisements for employment now. Right. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Oh my gosh. So you guys, it's a whole new kitchen and everything is brand spanking new. Everything right, let's go show them around. So we're going to go outside here. We'll follow. You know what? I'm going to follow them because real fast and just show her giving it to, because we Perfect guys, do it. our show is sponsored by any lab test now, Eugene and Stephanie and Adam are here. They're going to talk to us a little bit about that, uh, but they are sponsoring the show because they came here they loved it and they wanted to do more. So Spanish style. Check this out. <laughs> Eat your vegetables, Adam. Our cauliflower with hazelnut piccata and our showstopper octopus with oil poached potatoes and red pepper aioli. Wow. Okay. Continue All right, you guys, guys, I'll be back with you. But see, check this out, you guys. So this is their little seating area out there. And they have all kinds of room for outside seating. And check out this. This is my favorite enclosed but check this out isn't that nice little area here you can come in and you can rent this room out you can reserve it super cool and look at this so are you kind of excited to be in the wit i'm so excited to be in the wit i don't know if you mentioned this earlier but i don't actually know if you know this when we started pig and turnip our food cart was right there oh seriously right out yeah. front yeah like if you turn around Right out here? That's where, where, where the food... garden is, that's where our food cart started. So it's like full circle for our company. So you're home. We're home. <laughs> and now you're Springfield. You're just like a metropolis. You're like Springfield, Eugene. What's oh, the... yeah. And, and you Cottage know, Grove is where you make your bread. Obviously, we're, we're taking over the world. <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time. All right, hold on. So what else, um, what else do you need to tell people about this place? What else do I need to tell people about this place? Um, we, I told you about happy hour. Um, told you about kind of the style of food we do. Um, I, you, I, you guys wanted people to sign up on your Facebook page. Oh, yes. We do want that. Um, if we have it, we're going to we're gonna have, um, for every like, we're going to. So, I'm sorry. Let me tell you how I, to do it. I, thank I'll, you. I'll t- I'm going to tell you. I'm not speaking right. What, what, what Steph, they want to do is they want to give away two $25 gift cards. So yes. like their page, it's shield, no S, Bistro and Catering Kitchen on Facebook. Go like it. Tell them why you want to come here. Make a really good story. Mm -hmm. And then Natalie and her staff will go through those and they'll pick out two uh, $25 gift cards and you'll get to come down here and try it on them or at least make a good dent in a a meal. It will be really fun. Okay. All right. Cool. Now there's somebody. Thanks, Rick. You're welcome. That's what I do. (laughs) I'm I'm magic that way. So you you guys now want to take you over here because there's somebody else you got to meet. This is the... This is the other half of the shield. Hey, Joe. I'm going to come around this way. Hold on. I'm going to turn this around. Oh, buddy. All right. So, got it. They make it hard. We're going to flip. They make everybody like, all these little buttons are in the wrong place. Yeah, they are. You guys, this is Joe. Hi, guys. So, you're Natalie's (laughs) husband. Yes. Father of that cute kid. Yes. So, oh, and here he is. Here I he took is. your seat, buddy. I'm sorry. So tell him what you're doing. <laughs> what am I I'm doing? I am the baker uh, for Ezekiel. <laughs> I'm the baker for uh, uh, what uh, the, the bread products here at Shield Bistro, as well as the bread products uh, for uh, Pig and Turnip. 
So you guys know those pretzels you get at Pig and Turnip and all around town. Uh, those are Joe's. Yeah, you yeah, you know you kind of are the Costco pretzel, not your ingredients. I mean, you have taken the pretzel and made it on steroids. That's like a loaf of bread. It's it's a process. It's it's a labor of love, and it's a bit time intensive. Also, I really enjoy doing it. Uh, and and every single pretzel that that uh, you eat at Pig and Turnip uh, is. Um, is rolled out by my hands. <laughs> Everything's hand rolled. So, do you have some of your buns around here? Um, I've got I've got some of my bread I could grab out of the um, uh, out of inside. I just to just bake some of the the Spanish loaves. Show show me some. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. All right. Hey, buddy. So tell them who you are. I am Ezekiel. <laughs> this is Joe and Natalie's son. And you don't cook, right? No, just play Legos. You just play Legos? Yeah. So, but you're good at it, I'm guessing, right? Mm-hmm. Your dad's gonna go bring out some of his buns that he can show us. Uh huh. So what I do, what I've been building, is a really cool like it's it's a car that's almost the size of my head. It's what? It's a, it's almost the size of my head. What is it? It's a car. It's made a out car of Legos. that's the size of your head. It's made out of Legos. Oh my God. You're really good at that then. Uh-huh. And how old are you? Uh, eight. I'm going to be turning nine in November. You're going to be nine in November? Joe, I didn't know your kid was so smart. He's building a car the size of his head. Out of, out of Legos. Out of Legos. Out of Legos, absolutely. Okay, hold um, it up here so people can oh, see it. It makes it hold easier Hold it right up here. Your... Okay, so this, oh, this wow. is a, a rustic Spanish loaf um that i make as well for the shield bistro and this uh, also uh is made for events for our catering company that's awesome yeah hey joe thanks for letting us come down hey hey thanks, thanks for, tiger uh, for saying hi yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. all right i'm gonna turn this back around oh that kind of helped all right so do you have food in your tea are you on camera uh-huh yeah you are you guys this is adam and Stephanie, and they own any lab test now, and they're <laughs> they're, spons- they're sponsoring the show tonight. So I'm going to turn this around because I have to do audio this way because there's some weird thing going on with Facebook and iPhone, and if you do it from the other side, the sound goes down. Oh. So I don't know what it is on the phone, but so tell them how you guys started any lab test now, Eugene, and you do what? Uh, gosh, we do over 8,000 lab tests. Um, we do vitamin injections. Uh, gosh, we do TB tests. We do... STD testing. Yeah, Tell COVID about... testing. Did you say STD that? testing, COVID testing, uh, allergy panels, um, nutritional testing. Yeah, gosh. hormones, yeah. You know what? You know what? I, I don't think I told you this, but you know the peekaboo show we did? Yeah. The peek, so I'll have her tell you what it is, but the peekaboo show we did is my third highest viewed video on my YouTube page. Oh my God. No, yeah. I mean, it has like 10, 15,000 views and stuff. People just go and I don't promote it. Because it's so fun. I well, mean, tell them what it is. Um, so you can find out the gender of your baby at seven weeks. It's a blood test. Um, so that's pretty fun. Because it's, I think it's still five months ultrasound that is typical. So what you guys do basically is like, for people like me who have really, I have really bad insurance. I'm not going to spend my, I'm not going to ever get enough money. So I, I can just come to you. You don't take insurance. I can come into you, use my HSA and get my blood work done for my PSA, for um, testosterone. And anything I need to have done, I can get tests done. Yeah, anything you want to know about yourself, we provide the doctor's orders. So you don't have to go call your doctor and convince them for what you need. We provide that for you. We practice underneath um, a doctor's license. So um, yeah, it's great. You can get your vitamin D levels checked. You can get anything that you're curious about if there's a lab test we can pretty much find it and do it for you and you guys i had mine tested my vitamin d because i thought i was really low but i was actually okay for an oregonian you were okay but i still supplement because there's a lot of research out there that says with covid one of the things people should be doing is finding out what their vitamin d level is and, and substituting for that yeah, I mean, there's a lot of research um, saying that you have a better chance to fight COVID and, and not get as sick if you have high levels of vitamin D. Um, you know, you're more the expert well, on that. I, I just think every day there's a new revelation, a revelation coming out about vitamin D and health. And yeah, I mean, it's been linked to tooth decay, uh, mood, you know, it's actually, mood disorders. I was, I was and, watching something, the guy was saying it was actually, a, it's a hormone 
inducer. So it gets your yeah. hormone moving. It's not like really a vitamin. It's actually more like a hormone. Yeah. And your immune system operates off of that. Mm -hmm. I was fascinated. I was. Yeah. I mean, I actually watched a video on this because I was interested in this. Well, yeah, and, and I think everybody in the Pacific Northwest should really, you should really know what your vitamin D levels are. It's, <clears throat> it's just incredibly important. So. So what else was it you wanted to talk about? You have a cheat sheet. Um, right well, just we do a lot of COVID testing. Um, we do a lot of COVID testing for travel. Um, gosh, we've done hundreds since we started in back in December, oh, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, so number one, we are partnered now with Hawaiian Airlines. So if you're flying to Hawaii, uh, people are in a, in a panic to find testing in time um, to go on these trips. Um, when you click on the Hawaiian Airlines, there hasn't been somewhere in Eugene partnering with them. So we're doing that. So if you're um, using Hawaiian Airlines, you get a discount through any lab test now if you come to us. Um, and we, we also do travel for anywhere in the world. Um, so we also have a couple of new COVID tests um, coming out. That's one of them is called the COVID Immune Response Panel. What is that? And so that is to see if you have been previously infected with COVID. Um, so it's it's not like the an antibody paddle we had before. This one is more comprehensive, and it will also pick up if you are currently infected. Really? Mm hmm And so you'll want it. That's a test that somebody. It's best for somebody who is coming in um, like 15 days after exposure. You want to wait to get it because if you come in too early, it won't pick it up. Um, but 15 days after exposure, you don't want to do this one for the PCR test because it doesn't pick it up as, um, as I don't know how to say it, but like the PCR is super, super, super sensitive and you're testing for current active COVID. Okay. So um, you still want to, if you think you've been exposed or you think you have it, you still want to go get that PCR test. But if you think you may have had it, this is the antibody for that and it's 15 days after exposure. So tell them where you're located and how they get a hold of you and all that stuff. Um, yeah, we're at 977 Garfield Street, 541-343-2398. Um, um, you need to call and make an appointment for COVID testing. Uh, we do a lot of the rapid tests also for um, jobs, for yeah. weddings, parties, any people wanna just check before they go visit their grandmother. Um, anybody that is uh, symptomatic, we test in the parking lot. And of course, because this, the numbers have spiked again, we have seen um, we have seen more people testing positive for COVID the last week or two. Um, so you definitely need to call ahead of time and we do those in the parking lot. Um, but there's one other test that I wanted to talk about and that's the, um, the, that's the vaccine panel. And so that is for somebody who has had both of their shots. <laughs> You want to wait until two weeks after your second shot and you can actually come in and get the vaccine response panel and it will tell so what you is that? it will tell you if basically it will tell you if the vaccine um, built up antibodies in your in your blood seriously yeah so and that's new that's new that's new and our the one of the labs in arizona has been doing them um a lot um, it's been like a week and a half that they've started and they haven't had any tests come back without people um having their antibodies so, so why, for what so science would say is that the, the vaccine shot worked on them. So they get their report back and it says, oh, yes, the vaccine worked for you and you are now protected. For how long? That's different. That's a different Right, but story. at least you'd know. But that, it's not just a shot. It doesn't mean... And I don't it mean doesn't, a shot in the dark, like a shot. You know what I mean? But, well, I think it gives a range to make sure that your antibodies are at a sufficient enough level to theoretically protect you from the virus. Yeah. So it's not just saying, hey, you've had the vaccine. It's also saying that your body is producing a significant enough amount. To, um, enough to fight it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's a, cool. you'll get a res something saying positive, meaning you, for what they, for what science knows right now, um, you have enough antibodies to fight um, getting COVID if you're yeah. exposed. So how much is that? Do you know? Um, it is 129. God, that is, I, that, I think that would give people a lot of peace of mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I think right now the, the information out there is that, okay, I got the shot. Now, what did it do for me? Yeah. And, and, you know, also we're not, we're not here saying like, if you get the vaccine, then you need to come in and get the test to see if it worked. We're just saying we offer it if you, if you're curious that way. Right. If it's right? somebody that's just, yeah. yeah. I mean, because there'll be people on your show that'll say that's ridiculous. The shot, well, you know, I, we may or may not agree with that or whatever. Everyone has their own opinion, but if you're curious and you want to know, um, for instance, uh, there's quite a few of us <laughs> in our family group that have had COVID and we get our antibodies tested every month just to make sure like we traveled um to we went on, a, on a trip and we just checked just to make sure you know hey we're still up there um you know so a lot of people if they have antibodies they're not going to get the vaccine because there's been a lot of yet anyway there's been a lot of negative stories on that you shouldn't get your immunization if you have 
currently have COVID antibodies it's from just, having It's COVID. really what you guys are all about is more information that you can use on your own that you For can, whatever your feelings are or for what, however you feel about, yeah. you know, the virus or whatever, if you believe in vitamin D or don't, like, <clears throat> it, it's there for you if you want. So why did you guys want to sponsor Natalie's show? Well, um, she came into the clinic uh, a few weeks ago and uh, I heard her up front chirping and talking <laughs> about this new uh, restaurant that she was opening up and she said she was, it was like tapas and wine and I'm like, so I came out of the office and I'm like, okay, who are you and blah, blah, blah. And, and, I, like, and I said, Stephanie and I actually, it sounds like we'd really like your place. So then we started talking and then I mentioned your name about doing a show with her and she's like, oh, I know Rick like, personally and blah, blah, blah. So it just went from one thing to another, but yeah, just her personality and coming into our facility. Well, also too, we thought like our, you know, our shows can get kind of boring when you're doing the same show. Like, so yeah. we try to think of different ways to help other, you know, we did the one in the parking lot with each right. company at our station. And so we thought what a great way to help promote her. Um, you know, new business, and then we can actually sit in the wit and eat out, which we like yeah. to do. So it's um, an excuse to bring me out here, do a video, and yeah. you guys get to go have fun and have a nice dinner. Yes, yeah, and, and it's you delicious. You were going to do something else, weren't you? Yeah, oh, well, we just thought we would do a couple of gift cards to um, to the restaurant here. Okay, Yeah. so two more, so that means, you guys, we have four gift cards for $25 each, and what you have to do is go on and like the Shield Bistro and Catering Kitchen. <laughs> like their Facebook page and then tell them don't just like it but then tell them why you like it so that they can pick four winners and four people will get to come out and have their their meal for I'm food. having a Pomona mule it's delicious did yeah. you show the food already because it's the yummy yeah, hold okay. on I want to awesome. do it now bring the bread on all right we have our breadboard this is the breadboard you guys oh, oh my gosh oh my goodness that, Joe makes a that's the guy that makes the bread right there, you guys. Mm. That's Joe. Actually, so the bread is probably, honestly, the, the most best. delicious piece of bread I've ever had. Yeah. Really? And I'm not joking. Hey, I'm not joking. Hey, Joe. <laughs> it's bread so gets a good. thumbs up. Best bread ever. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Pardon me? Oh, yeah. Tell us the sauces. Fantastic. So we have our red pepper aioli, one of our signature sauces. Spanish olive oil that we've imported, fresh butter, tomate sauce, it's a fresh tomato sauce, and our hazelnut picata, a little bit of Northwest. Wow. <laughs> thank All you. All right, you guys, thank you. Okay. I'll be thank back you. in a second. Okay. I'm going to go, I'm going to go talk to her. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so come here. Do something for me really fast. So... You, you know this place inside and out. What is, why is this so welcome in the wit, do you think? This is going to be a real nice addition. Oh, I think that people have been looking for a neighborhood spot, especially as the pandemic is winding down. People want to find a place to just sit and relax and be under the mimosa tree. This courtyard has a history as a place where people gather, and people are just excited to see it back. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. So, you guys, I'm going to pull this down so, I can, so you can understand me. Um, but this is... Um, so what's super cool about this is this is where Natalie and Joe started. Um, like Natalie was saying, she started right there in that little garden spot. That's where the pig and turnip began. And so now they've kind of come home to the wit. So the Springfield pig and turnip is still open, but this is the new Shield Bistro and Catering Kitchen in the wit. Um, brand new open again they do suggest you make reservations especially on the weekends and again they're giving away four $25 gift cards uh, so what you got to do is go on the Facebook page like their page their shield bistro and catering kitchen page and then tell them why you want to come into the restaurant and I'd make a good story so you sell yourself well and then they'll give you four uh, those uh, $25 gift cards. So if you guys would do me a favor, share this on your page, let people know about this, um, help Natalie and Joe out and the staff here. They're working real hard to make this place go. So share this on your page, let people know there's a new place in town in the wit um, and uh, come out and check it out. It's open during the week and also on the weekends. And again, weekends they do uh, a meal and during the week it's tapas and uh, great drinks and all kinds of stuff happening here. So I'm Rick Dancer. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll be back next week with a whole new round of stuff. Um, and again, 
again, we want to thank Any Lab Test Now, Eugene, for sponsoring the show. They're always trying to help businesses, uh, you know, get their feet on the ground. And a lot of our businesses are really into doing that right now because we all need to stick together, right? That's kind of what this whole thing's about. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.